never Ooh. thought you'd see a BC Richard Chapman and a black star in the same video with uh, a Danishman and an Englishman. Well, oh yeah, I've never even thought about that. Holy, what that's a just melting completely pot. just like, if one of us just <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> and we'd tick all the boxes there. <laughs> right, uh, welcome back to Anderson's TV, talking about uh, a new range of black star amplifiers today. Yes, the HT Venue Series Mark III has it's been back. updated in 2023. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, Mr. Let, Pete. Let me hear it. It's it's Black Star. It's Black it's and not it's back, a star. It's Black Star. Um, so, not a million billion different changes. <laughs> I think it's visually quite different to yeah. the Mark II. I in, like it. In a I pleasing like way. Yeah. I, I much prefer the look. I think their St. James that they bought out last year was, was probably the best looking amp they ever did. And yeah. I think this has got some St. James I still vibe think it is, though. I prefer the look of that one to this one here. With the Anyway. I like this this logo here, the new, uh, I like that. The, um, the upgrades from Mark II oh. are uh, a new clean channel. Oh! It says here, offering the ultimate in clean tone quality and flexibility. Uh, clean channel has um, its own bass and treble controls. You can cut, we, what, yeah. just so you know, the, the jam at the beginning is me in this combo, Pete in that one. Yeah, stage 60 um, for me, club uh, 40 for club you. When we actually get into showing you what the knobs and buttons do, we're going to plug into this so you can see a closer. Mm -hmm. um, overdrive, I think, is the same overdrive channel from Mark II. Okay. Uh, you've got uh, two options with foot switches, the two button one or yeah. the four bu uh, five button I one. I brought sorry. that out of the retirement here. Power reduction, which again, I think was on the previous model. Uh, so again, the next big upgrade is to do with the USB uh, yes. output or the, yeah. D the DI output generally. So yeah. that the whether you're using USB or XLR for the um, DI, you've now got the option of running it with their cab rig and architect Tech, software. Yeah. And it's a USB-C. So, so yeah, so three, three main differences <laughs> between this and Mark II, the look, the clean channel, and the uh, emulated output. So, should we... Um, we should plug into this and yeah. then uh, get some tones, yeah? Right, so we are now plugged into the heads and we're using this radial switcher to switch between them and you're hearing everything through the cab. Before we get started, let me just give you every single product that's in it so that you can understand. <sighs> the Club series, which is this combo here, one by 12 combo, and this head here, mm -hmm. are the two channel, so you've got essentially a clean channel with two voices and an overdrive channel with two voices and one EQ. Oh. Okay, that's the club series. The combo's 40 watts, the head's 50 watts, and the list pricing is 899 and 825. If you go okay. over to the stage series, mm -hmm. stage has the expanded kind of preamp yep. section here. So we've got uh, two gain channels effectively, mm -hmm. again, each with their own voice. Uh, we've also got presence and resonance over here. Um, and there's a slightly more options on the back, I think, as well. Yeah. Stage will come in a 60 watt 112 at 9.99, a 60 watt 212, which would be a bit That's of a beast be at 11.49, the 100 watt head at 9.99. Then uh, the matching cabinets, you've got a 112, a 212, an angled 412, a flat and a flat 412. So you can and get an eight, are, you can get a full stack there. Yeah, and they are 269, 379, and 599. They're just the list prices. Yeah. So I'd suggest you go over to the Anderson's website and see what Links the prices. Links below. Um, and before we go ahead, please like and subscribe and do all that stuff because we give away stuff every 10,000 subscribers. And we hit a million, we'll give away a real clunk. Right, so if I switch here, I can switch between these two heads. So Pete's gonna demo the clean sound because he's got the, the sort of guitar that's more appropriate for, well, that's a bit raucous, isn't it, sometimes? But anyway, he's got the, the, so the nice, T-style Chapman. Uh, I'm gonna do the dirty sounds with the uh, <laughs> BC Because Rich. why not? Um, okay, so starting on the, let's get a, we're in the 50 watt mode. Yeah. All these amplifiers can be switched down to 10% of their maximum output if you want to use them oh, at yeah, home. Okay. As well as, of course, if you use the That's DI clever. output, you can run it in standby and then the amp itself is, is, uh, doesn't put any noise okay. out through its own speaker. Nice. But here we go, 50 watt mode into here. Uh, you can see the settings. We've got bass and treble flat. We're on voice one. We've got the clean volume about, I don't know, 11 o'clock and the master about nine o'clock. And the clean channel is the one that they, they've been proved on, right? Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. 
There's no pedals at all. No pedals. The reverb um, is yeah, we in talked about that light before. mode. I, I don't think it's a standout feature of these amplifiers. It sounds okay. I think there are better reverbs yeah. to be achieved if you buy a, your own pedal. But I can, I can wash the reverb a bit more. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, we did. So, you can hear. The decay on, in my opinion, and the same on the Chen yeah. James, it, it, the decay on, on the reverb, it goes like, Meh, and then it just disappears, which is a bit of a shame. Because I, I like will, it to sw swim over me, you know. I will say now, and we'll annotate the answer here, I'm not sure if you can change the reverb within uh, Cabri. You might be able to change the reverb on the DI. Yeah, but, but not, it, on, the, uh, not on the physical All amp. All you've got is here. a light and a dark switch yeah. on the back. We're yeah. on the light setting, so. So just here, I'll just put a flint on, just okay. for, yeah. just for, so. You know, with the decay yeah. is longer. Fine. That's, I anyway. wish they'd done that, because that would be a great upgrade. Yep, back to internal reverb. Back to internal uh, reverb. You, you only have one reverb setting, by the way, so you've got to try and set your kind of reverb for your mm -hmm. drive and your clean channel. Uh, if you've got the expanded foot switch, you can at least turn reverb on and off. Yeah, on yeah. the two button one, you can't. Um, uh, anyway, look, so that's, that sounds good, man. That's I think clean it here. Good. Let's hear voice two. Okay. Give it a bit more reverb. I'll tell you so what I, I do like on this, which is an upgrade, is all the switches are these un. Oh, well, that one isn't. That's not true. But the they're these yes, they're like little soft click, touch. Click. Yeah, I like that. You just switch it out. It feels really nice. Um, nice. Sorry, sorry more, more, reverb. more reverb. And we're going. So channel uh, voice two. It's got voice a kind of a grid on it. You know what I did notice that the um, how it really took that reverb pedal in the front really well. Yep, there is, is an effect uh, loop on yeah. both of these if you want to do that. But some but amps don't do that, so that's yep. that's uh, great. That's great. I like it. I think it's great. Let's can we just have the the, the treble yeah, Beverly can... just. Yeah, that gets that's quite bright, isn't it? Yeah. Depends on what guitar you have. Let's see how much bass is in this beast. Well, that's nice. I'll just go like that and then go on the back. That's good, that's good. So I just went to the quarter pounder to give it a push to the front end a bit more. I mean, I don't know. I can't, I've got no. I can't rec rec recollect the, the previous Mark II one. how yeah. the clean channel was. I think it sounds good. Right. Let's just give you a quick blast out of the blast. bigger head here. So again, we're on a clean channel. Second voice. That might be a bit too much reverb. And then, yeah. A bit too much reverb there and a bit too much volume. Oh, yeah. If that's you want to crunch it a bit more, I think we need to just get that level up a bit there. and then okay. compensate over here. <laughs> got the volume here Super hardly loud. turned yeah, up yeah, at yeah. all. Uh, okay, so look, that's... What speakers are in these cabinets here? They are Celestian 7080 speakers. Okay. Um, right. So, okay. Do you want to... Should we, should we try some gainier stuff? Um, or do you want to try it with pedals? Oh, okay, let's, let's do it? the clean... All right, go back so to we'll go this one and then one. I'll just... Uh... Nice bottom end in it. 
The Dane. Oh, well, let's go blue side of the protein first, because that's kind of, you know, low gain. I'm just going to gain it up here a bit. That's a nice, um, Can sort I, of gay, while, overdriven. Whilst you're on, it's been a, it's been a long time since we've uh, last talked about these guitars. <laughs> Pete, Pete and I specked up this special run yeah. Chapman range about I don't know two years ago. I know. Uh, Look at the so headstock. yes, headstock reverse reverse or the right way round, yeah. whichever way you want to talk about that. <laughs> but unusual for Chapman. Yeah. The, what I like most though is it's Seymour Duncan USA pickup, so we've got a P90 and a quarter pounder. Yeah. But a four-way switch. So if you go from go from the front, so go from yeah. the P90 on its own. Yeah. So nice. So now conventional T-style wiring on the two pickups. Yeah. Now we've got the humbucker wiring on the two pickups. Fat. Yeah, and then just the quarter, quarter pounder. pounder. It sounds and good like that. It's all on a, a semi, like a thin line body, and Wilkin the Wilkinson Bridge is great as well with the yeah, big yeah. fat brass saddles. Yeah. Anyway, you can anyway, go to the links a... below, lots of yeah. different colours. I think choice of maple or uh, yeah, rosewood boards. Yeah. Green. Anyway, back to the amplifiers. Back to the amplifiers. So here's a bit more gain from the Dane. <laughs> Kelly 76. A bit of a bell, bell epoch deluxe. Okay, just in case we didn't make this clear earlier, that's the foot switch that these amps come with. Mm -hmm. That's the optional one that you can buy. Uh, and then again, you can use that one with any of these foot switches. You can actually yeah. have both foot switches plugged in at the same time, whatever that does. Okay, okay cool. So it takes pedals well. Yep. Uh, that's good. Let's unleash the beast. Oh my God. This is a Demarzio loaded Rich B. Uh, if you want to see a video on BC Rich Guitars, check the links below. Uh, mm. It'll be one of the recent ones on our channel. Same again here. So I've got the button to take us through um, head one or head two. Maybe Pete wants to do some tweaking. I can, can do some tweaking, see, yeah. we'll, we'll mess around with the EQ. So the EQ for the drive channel now is three band plus the infinite shape feature. Uh, so let's have a look. We don't have mm -hmm. a lot of. Let's put it back to gain one. We don't have a lot of gain on this channel. At the no, moment. but I don't think this amp, this amp is, this is the one for the gain, isn't it? This no, is more the cleany. You wait. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. In my head, this is more of a clean type amp for me. But that's okay. So let's start with everything at twelve o'clock. Okay, well, Just gain because. at 12 o'clock as well. Uh, so we are here. Oh, gain at 12 o'clock. Sounds great. Let's do the... Kind of um, classic rock it's just, throaty. It's just got the Black Star Drive sound, yeah. you know. Uh, here's the voice on. It's scooped, isn't it? I prefer voice uh, two here. The white it's switch fatter, is on. Isn't it? and, it's got. And, it's more. It's more. Are you do you do your Kirk just then? I might have. Let's 
Let's do the uh, uh, IF, IS, ISF switch. So okay, so just... what's happening? You know, I mean, ISF has been in the Black Star range since pretty yeah. much day one. It's shifting the whole EQ. Yeah, American to British. Kind of. Well, that's what I'm saying I, here, anyway. Yeah, I, I always think that that's just a bit of marketing blurb. But you can hear as, it, as, as Pete goes all the way from... Let's start. It's, it's like when you're here with that off and you go back to here and you put that on. They're very similar. Biz sort of. Bizarrely, I, I mean, I've got little Black Star fly stuff. With yeah. that. For me, all the best tones are yeah, sort just, of just, in and around yeah. like from maybe 11 o'clock to I 1 o'clock. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll keep going. I just saw, I, I went know school why to I'm mid, playing mid there in the end. So. Everything sounds worse unless it's like everything's at 12 o'clock. Yeah, but uh, there, <laughs> there was, you know, when you take all the mitts out and you just go <laughs> like that, I no. think that's, yeah, go on. You scoop it properly. That's interesting. Now I'm doing this, the ISF switch is much more apparent when it's like this. Have a listen. So if I'm, in, if I'm, if I'm everything at 12 o'clock and I do the same thing, this is not as noticeable. Go on. See? That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, it's, you know. Should we try the second amp? Yes, we shall, we shall. Okie dokie, so over here. Yeah, to overdrive So you've one. got some extra controls here, presence and resonance. And oh, right, 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 right. You've got your two overdrive channels and two voices on each overdrive oh channel. Oh my so goodness, like, Lord. Uh, I guess you've got to imagine this. What you're really doing is you're going to have like a, a, a dirty rhythm sound and, yeah. a, and a lead sound on Clean, here. dirty lead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Resonance first. Let's go from. Yeah. I got. Let's go from this side. Presence because that's master. So this is all over. Um, these f f functions here will be on all channels, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's start with re the presence. Go on. It gives it more presence. Then resonance. Where I think resonance will probably come into its the own is with the bigger cabs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. On 112, it's you know it's maybe not a big enough cab, but yeah. maybe we Sounds just good. need more gain. Make more gain. Okay. Let's go to voice two on on the gain one. Okay. They 
do they do bloody great uh, overdrive, don't they? It's such uh, a it's just that in a fourteen like, year old is coming out. We've got a BC rich and yeah. tons of gain. Uh, okay, so that you could hear the resonance when I put it in. It got more sort of did it. Go, there you go. Off the ball, just a boom. Just. A Listen, go, go, boom. Okay, let's go to game two. Okay. Because it saves, it saves when you look at it. So that's oh, it what saves it saves the, setting. the settings. Yeah. So that's really cool. So here is voice two on game on overdrive two. <laughs> I can't let's, help myself. Let's just do let's do the hundred watts down to because it's hundred okay, watts, yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's hundred watts. Yeah. So here's ten. Just lose like lots of body and stuff from from the amp. I mean, it's it's a this is a I, and then back to the clean. How would you do that? Just clicking the, here. Yeah, that's that it. One. Okay, yeah. that's clever. I like that. Go on, just the clean. That's nice. I, I wasn't using any. I've got my full pedal board here. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't using any pedals. Can I try it on the gain channel with... But I think that's the whole point of this amp, isn't it? That you don't really need the, I think the, you're right. You know, you I, don't really need the, 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 yeah, the pedals. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think there's a, a real... Maybe some effect loop, maybe a reverb delay in the effect you loop. Know, you but know, but I, I sort of feel over the last, like, I don't know, 30 years of valve amplifiers, yeah. this type of amplifier, multi-channel, multi-function, maybe pioneered by where Boogie were going. With a Roadster and the, to the King. Yeah, the even Rhodes just King. things like the, even just like Mark to rectifier. fours and all that kind of stuff. Like five. Four. Um, yeah. And then with Marshall's, um, oh. 100, the, uh, the one JVM, that yeah, JVM kind of vibe. Yeah. I kind of feel there's been a bit of a move away from that over mm -hmm. the last 10 years to people just going, yeah. can I just have a single channel amplifier and I use pedals? Yeah. So I think this is very much that latter thing. I don't think this is an amplifier that you then go, right, I've got a massive pedal board as well. I think this is, you, you know, you basically got this amp and yeah. that, yeah. and you're good to go, right? Yeah. Or maybe I mean, a delay. Maybe you know, a bit of delay. delay or a yeah. boost or something, yeah. So look, that's the, the basic run through of the sound. I think, you know, it's a, it's a tick in the sense of Blackstar have improved. The de I definitely like the look. I mean, interestingly, yeah, if, if you're good. watching this video, I'm guessing September, October, 2023 God. Um, and you're going oh yeah I, li I like that but I can't afford one there are you are still going to be able to pick up some of the clearance deals on the Mark II yes yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. not every model is available anymore in Mark II because they've sold out now but you know where they are available they'll be yep. quite a lot less than these but yeah so I think it's, it's a tick box definitely looks nicer than Mark II yeah um, I mean this looks good just a head and a the, cab like one to yeah, looks nice the, the clean channel again as Pete said I don't it's, it's a good sounding clean channel. I don't really recall what the Mark II I don't, clean channel I don't re was, recall it being really bad anyway, but I think no, it's, it's it is definitely better. It's slightly fatter. It's just, and, and it takes the pedals better, I seem to recall. Yeah, well, look, and the last part of this yeah. video is the final upgrade, which we're going to have a little look at what the DI, listen to what the DI sounds yes, like. Yes, let's so do that. Pete's plugged into the top. In fact, we're still using the switcher here, but yeah. Pete's plugged into the top. You'll mm -hmm. notice now we've got both of these amplifiers on standby so there's nothing coming out the speaker cabinet completely fine the amplifier is happy to run with no speaker in it as long as it's in standby mode mm -hmm. um we've got xlr um leads coming out the cabinet emulated output on the back of this you could also do this via usb if you would prefer um and, and it'll attach to your door and you know yeah obviously yeah, come yeah. Up in logic. um and here we go let's just have a little listen so this is our clean tone no pedals
Okay, so on screen now are some examples of what the software looks like. So this is the uh, cab rig is, you know, this idea of um, choosing the type of speaker cabinet that you'd want to emulate. It's coming through, mm -hmm. moving the microphone around, yep. all that kind of stuff. You can then store the three presets in here. We're just going to show you the three presets. Yep. Um, there are on. other videos out there on cab rig if you yeah, want to Yeah, we've done some as well, more. so if you want to watch that. So here's bit. preset number one. I'm going to go to voice two because I like that better. Okay. Preset two. Preset two. That's definitely, it's definitely different. Def different. Yeah. Back on voice one. Yeah. In case you're wondering, what we're listening to in the room is are our little studio speakers that yeah, are in here. Okay. Legs. And then number three. Here we go. Bung it on the Overdrive channel. Yes, I shall, my um, friend. I'm there gonna we go. leave it on Cabrig number one. Okay. I'll just switch to two. I just want to see what it does. Yeah, more saturated. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds all right, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sounds fine. Um, sounds fine. I mean, we can do uh, head two so that this uh, stage. Oh, um, let me go on. Let me go on, uh, on overdrive three. Great man. Yeah, you know, it's got it's got that vibe to it. You know, I think that's a pretty <laughs> nice um, upgrade for that to have have that if you, I, if I, you use it at home. I Absolutely. certainly think it will appeal. Oh. You know, live oh. live guitar players now oh. just. <laughs> There's so many options other than having to put a microphone in front of the cabinet. So many options. Whether you've got a load box with a line output or whether you've got the the, the emulated line output on there. So that I, I'm I'm a little bit. Um, what's the right word? I, I can't see many people buying an amp like this to then DI into their door. I almost feel like if if you're if all you want to do is DI into an interface, you're just probably going to buy a little. You could buy like the little amp three thing or whatever. Yeah, a little uh, amp works, or you could buy you can, just, and you can have a, a an interface and plug yeah. straight in but, use Logic but li plugins. You, you know, know, live wise, you know, if, yeah. you, if you're playing at a venue where you know you need to keep your on-stage volume down a little bit and you mm -hmm. want to go into the sound system, yep. not having that. to mic up, just give the give the engineer a XLR cable yep. and it sounds great. And yep. like I say, you can uh, you can blend, so you you can have the speaker cabinet and the DI running yeah, simultaneously if you want to, or you can just have the DI. It's kind of up to you. I do, and I do think that the, the clean channel sounds better, in my opinion, and yeah. it takes the pedals better. So that's, a, in my opinion, a really, really good upgrade. Well, we're we go. and I going to jam out, and yes. uh, but we're going to jam out using the DI. So you plug into that. So we'll we'll scrap the the speaker switcher thing. Yeah. That's your cable, isn't it? So you it just is. go straight into the front straight there. Straight into that. I'll go straight into the front here. That's so clever. You don't have to worry about turning them on or off or anything like yep. that. You can just, you're sitting on your cable, Lee. What? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in another video soon. Bye.
Thank you.